are you today? Oh man, have I got a lot to tell you guys. Um, hope you have a coffee <laughs> or tea. Uh, lots has been happening since I talked to you last. Oh, my head hurts. It's just spinning. Okay. First things work. For, I can't even talk, you guys. I am so tired and I've got a head. This headache has not gone away for the last week. So anyway, okay. First things first. My niece had her baby. Yay! Uh, April Fool's Day. April 1st, he was born. His name is Mason uh, actually, it's Leslie Mason Smith, but he's going to be going by Mason. Uh, I, 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 he was seven pounds, two ounces and 20, 20.5 inches long. <laughs> he's going to be a tall boy. Um, we couldn't be happier. Uh, baby and it's a couple of days now. Baby and uh, Michelle are fine. Um, Michelle gave a natural birth and uh, he was having some problems with um, feeding, but he he just decided he wasn't going to eat. He was, he was just not hungry. Or so. He was hungry, but he was just like, yeah, no, I'm too lazy for this. <laughs> So uh, they finally got him feeding. Uh, so that's good. Um, he's healthy. Uh, he's oh my god, he's gorgeous. So um, I'll I'll post a picture. It's like oh my god. <laughs> so now Axel, my grandbaby. Ooh, what's this? Um, my grandbaby Axel has his best friend in the world now. Uh, we we've all decided that they're going to be best friends. <laughs> so it's that's it. Um. So yeah, it was it was um. It was a brutal day uh, because my sister was sending me blow by blows of what was going on, what was happening. Um, and we were just holding our breath because Michelle has had the hardest year, uh, with medical issues. If, if you've been watching any of my videos, I haven't really talked a lot about it, but, um, she, she had a lot, when she found out she was pregnant, she was already going through a lot of different things. She ended up having to have surgery while she was pregnant. Um, and like, oh my God. So there's been a lot of stuff going on. Hold on, guys. Excuse me. <laughs> I have not been sleeping well. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so he's here. I have not met him yet. She's still in the hospital. They want to make sure that he's he's really feeding well and that um, everything's okay before they let her go home. So I will probably be meeting him in the next few days or a week or whatever. Um, and then both of my girls are going to be coming out and Axel and Mason are going to meet for the first time. <laughs> so, um, Axel is doing great. Oh my God, you guys, he's so cute. Ah, uh, he's just, he's, uh, I just, I can't even, oh my God. He's smiling and he's happy and um, he's in one of those bouncer things now. Like uh, she's got him all propped up and, and, and everything in there and he's just bouncing and oh my God, I can't wait to see him. I miss him so much. Um, I wish I could, I, actually I'll post a picture right here. This is the picture that I have on my phone that uh, I look at every day. Um, yeah. Oh, my little pickle. Oh, I'm just, I, I miss him terribly. So, uh, when they come out to see Mason, I get to have my grandma time. <laughs> 
So, yeah. Okay. So there's that. Um, the other thing is, uh, you guys saw the, probably saw the video. If you didn't go back to my, my last video, I signed the lease for my shop, for my new shop. Um, I am stressed beyond beyond right now because I'm supposed to be opening the shop on May 1st. Oh my God. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I'm getting like four hours of sleep if that, like I'm, I'm going to bed at like two and three in the morning and getting up at like eight. So it's crazy. Um, but I I put in my first order for some stuff to be brought in. There was a problem. There was some stuff that was, the stock was, um, there wasn't any stock of something. So they held my whole order instead of contacting me. Uh, so that ticked me off. So I had to call them today and say, look, just take that stuff off my order, refund me and ship my order. You know, like I got to get this here, get it tagged, get, you know, like all of that um, before I open my shop. So, so I got that. I got my chair. Everybody seems to be so concerned about my chair. <laughs> you know, um, I got a gamer's chair. It's got a massager on it. Um, so I'm hoping that that's going to be my new best friend. Um, so I have, uh, I have a logo, but I don't have the wording on the logo yet. So I've got to go, once I get my logo here, I got to take it into the signage shop and get them to do some wording that I can put on, um, the wall and stuff like that. Uh, what else? I have to order my desk. I got my desk that's coming from Amazon. It's a gamer's desk, so it's kind of L-shaped, kind of like that goes this way, then it goes that way, then it goes this way. <laughs> so it's kind of a weird. If you if you know any gamers, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> so um, I've got that, and then I got to put it together. Oh, you guys! Oh, I am so sorry. I am just so tired. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I got to get uh, that in my chair. I have to get to the off, take it to the office and, uh, or to the store. And then I got to put it together there. So there's a bunch of other things. I'm still waiting for my name approval to come in. I can't get my business like uh, business insurance until I get that. So there's a lot of things that are kind of up in the air right now um, that is stressing me out. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, there's just, there's a lot of things that I'm trying to get figured out. Um, so speaking of stress, uh, I talked to my surgeon, my specialist about my throat. Um, apparently I may need to go in for hernia surgery. Uh, the hernia has got, <clears throat> got, gone from like, it used to be small to kind of tipping the medium size. Now it's medium to large. Uh, so they're sending me to another specialist and yeah, so I may need to go in for surgery. Don't know when it could happen in like a year with our medical system. Um, and then my throat, uh, she says, is from my stress and my anxiety and my panic attacks. So when I get anxious, my throat starts to close and like all the muscles tighten. Um so, yeah, <laughs> they are going to be putting me on anti-anxiety medication. 
how the hell I'm going to function if I'm on that. I don't know. I may have to wait, take it at night. I don't know. <clears throat> um, they've already upped my, my stomach medication, except the one medication that they're giving me, the, um, what the hell is it called now? Don per Peridon, Don Peridon, um, is upsetting my stomach. Uh, I've got, I've got this headache that won't go away. Um, I'm nauseous. So I stopped taking it. I was like, you know what? I'm not doing that. Uh, -uh. um, <clears throat> so I've been off it for a couple of days now. I was only on it for like a week and a half. Um, so, uh, we're going to have to figure something else out for that. <clears throat> um, the, uh, anxiety medication. Uh, oh, <laughs> They are going to be sending me to a specialist to teach me how to breathe. I thought I was breathing. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not breathing the way I'm supposed to be breathing. And that's what's help doing this to my throat. <clears throat> I'm not breathing from my diaphragm, apparently. I'm breathing up here. So I'm constantly holding my breath. And I'm like... <sighs> Yeah, and it's erratic. Um, I do understand that I, uh, you know, when I'm sitting there crocheting, I'm not like taking deep breaths. That's why I'm yawning. Excuse me. That's why I'm yawning because uh, there's not enough oxygen getting into my brain. Um, and, uh, so I have to learn how to breathe. I have to learn how to take deep breaths and expand and allow my my lungs to do what they're supposed to do. Um, I'm also supposed to be taking something called Calm. It's magnesium. And it, you get it from the health food store. I've actually had this stuff for quite a while already. And I use, usually take it to sleep. Oh, George is calling me. Sorry. Oh, come on. No. Nope. There. Um, I usually take it to help me sleep. I haven't been taking it in quite a while. Uh, so I have to start taking that on a more regular basis. Um, I don't like doing that because then I'm kind of all wonky in the morning, right? It's kind of like with melatonin, when you take melatonin and in the morning, you still feel the, the effects of it. Um, the calm isn't quite as bad, but it's still there, you know, <clears throat> and if I'm going to be going to the shop in the morning, I got to drive a half an hour to get there. So I want to make sure that I'm not all out of my head when I'm driving. So, yeah, so there's that. So that's a health update. Um, next thing I haven't really, I, I haven't really been crocheting a lot. Um, that's a lie. I had to make Angela's birthday gift. Um, I got it finished and I ended up making her something else as well. So I can't show it to you. <laughs> so you're going to have to go over to Angela's channel. Her link will be down below, uh, so that when she gets it, she will show it to you guys. Um, that was a stress and a half, I'll tell you. But I love her and I wanted to do this for her. So I did. <laughs> and thank you so much again for my yarn of bees that helped me out with the yarn. Uh, I couldn't have done it without you guys. So thank you so much. Um I shipped off the crochet hooks for the, the ladies that sent me the yarn. So they should be getting their hooks soon. Um, speaking of hooks, I don't know if you guys remember me talking about uh, that I got a Borealis hook. And I got a specialty hook for my birthday and anniversary from George. Oh, you guys, I filmed the opening 
of the specialty hook and decided not to post it. Um, oh, now my accountant's calling me. I'm popular today. Holy crap. Um, so anyway, I, um, I received the hook. I was very disappointed and it's not Ferls' fault. It's probably my fault for not looking a little deeper into it, but it was, it's like a little child's hook. It's like so small. Um, and I just, I can't use it. So I have to send it back. <sighs> I tell you for a $200 hook, that just, that really upset me. So, but that's okay. I'm going to send it back. I'm going to get a refund because Furls is fantastic with that. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, so I'll have to figure out something else. I thought it was going to be like a candy shop hook that was bigger like long and and fatter this wasn't it was like like thin, thin small like this but about like that big i i just i couldn't believe it and i i just had to send it back i have to send it back but <laughs> i finally got my borealis hook i haven't looked at it yet la, 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 la. Oh, sorry. Did that bother you too? Oh, I hate cardboard. <laughs> oh God. And goosebumps all over me. Like nails down chalkboard. Mm. Okay. Um, it took a long time to get this hook. So I don't quite know why, but it's here now. And I'm going to love it. Um, God, they put so much paper in here. <laughs> okay, here it is. <sighs> I've been I've been watching everybody open up their Borealis hook. And I've just been wanting to cry because mine wasn't here. Oh, it just broke my heart. I was like, come on. Like, really? Why am why am I the last one to get my damn hook? It's not fair. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Ready? Ooh. Oh, look at that. Oh, this makes up for the other one. Oh, hang on. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, you guys. Is that? Mmm. Oh. Look at that. Wow. That green is so green. And that purple is so nice. It's it's like opalescent. And look at the tip. Oh, I don't know if you can see. The tip is like almost clear. Oh, wow. That is so nice. Um. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that is so nice. Wow. Oh, I love that. So I got a 4.5 hook. Um, I've got a couple of four hooks, but I don't have a 4.5. Listen to me. 4.5. God, I never worked with these before I started doing baby sweaters. And now all of a sudden I'm, I'm like getting a, a bunch of fours and 4.5s. Like I'm sick in the head. I don't know. <laughs> Just, and I, and I was doing a bit of amigurumi. So, oh, wow. That's cool. That is just, I love that. That is just, look at that right there. Like, wow. Oh, love it. Oh. Okay, 
That makes me happy. <laughs> okay, one more thing. Um, as soon as Mason was born, I all of a sudden got this feeling like I had to make a baby sweater. I just, I got this, like, I have to make a sweater. So I did. And I did something that I haven't done before. I used latte cake. I know, I know, latte cake can't go in the dryer. It's bad for baby, for a baby sweater. But you know what? All they have to do is put it in a cold wash and just hang it to dry. Or, like, put it on a towel. You know, so, ready? Okay, I used, <laughs> I used one of these blossom cakes, but it's not this color. Oh, I can't remember what color it is. I'll put that over here. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! And it has a hood. Isn't that adorable? Oh, I just love it. Oh, and the hoodie is made with granny square. Oh, I just adore this sweater. And I put little wooden heart buttons on it. Isn't that cute? Oh, so cute. Oh, 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 and it's so soft, so soft. So it's going to be really nice on baby's head. This is a six to 12 month size. And the pattern is, bleh, I can't remember the name of the pattern. I will leave a link down below for the pattern. I believe it's a paid pattern. Um, <clears throat> And the directions on the pattern was really good, like really good. I mean, once, I mean, it's basic. It's, it's not hard to do, right? It's all half double crochet and a uh, granny stitch. So it was really easy. Um, but yeah, this, of course, this, this part on the hood here, her, hers looks different than mine. Okay. This part here is my own. Um, hers kind of folds over. Um, if you take a look at the pattern, uh, it's it's a totally different hood style. So, yeah, but I'm I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with it. And that's all I've done, you guys. I just I've been researching and researching and shopping and everything for the shop and trying to get Angela's stuff done and you know stressed out about Mason's birth and you know and that's that's it so yeah there's that so that's all I got for you guys that's it <laughs> I will keep you posted on what's happening Okay, I told you I wasn't going to leave you guys. I'm not going to forget about you guys. You guys are my family. So don't worry. I'm still here. <laughs> okay, I love you all. I love you all. Thank you guys all for the support. Um, yeah, you guys are, are the best. Okay, I love you all. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.